following the official declaration of the Minister of Transportation, Honorable Rotimi Amici, to join the race to contest for president ahead of the 2023 general election. The National Youth Council of Nigeria, NYCN, has called for the immediate resignation of the Minister of Transport over what it described as discourtesy of elevating personal ambition over national tragedy. The NYCN said its National Executive Committee, NEC, took the decision after due consultation with leaders of frontline civil society organizations to consider the impending implication of the Abuja Cardinal Ray track bombings by terrorists. The Youth Council was speaking in Abuja through its national president, Comrade Solomon Adudu, who said Honorable Roti Miyamichi did not show concern over the lives that were lost during the Abuja Cardinal Ray track bombings by his intention to run for office of the president without paying due attention to the safety of the ever mobile Nigerian youth and indeed all Nigerians that uses the rail network as their means of transportation. While the NYCN has nothing against right honorable Chibuka Amicha and his aspiration, his action is unconscionable, condemnable, reprehensible, irresponsible, distasteful, disgraceful, and totally antithetical to the wheels of patriotism in the face of our national reality and mode. It is tantamount to dancing on the graves of the victims of the train attack and also celebrating the pains of the abducted and the wounded victims. The neck of the National Youth Council of Nigeria is equally saddened that Honorable Amechi, who is supposed to take the lead in taking responsibilities and lead the way in ameliorating the plight of the victims and their families, has rather thrown caution to the winds and also show no strand of care for those affected. Arodo said the outcome of the NYSC consultation with civil society organizations prompted an emergency meeting by the National Executive Committee of the Youth Council and thereby called on Honorable Rotimi Amechi to apologize to Nigerians for his indiscretion of elevating his personal ambition over national tragedy and the national sad mood. That Minister Amechi for all his nice guy posturing, has been supervising a railway contract without security components, which will be compulsory, not just because of these kind of incidences or attacks which we have witnessed, but also we should know that if you are building rail tracks, there should be fencing so that stray animals don't just come on the way, stray objects or items do not just come on the way, which can derail the train and cost us so much. All this was not done. We just moved on without due diligence. All the concern was how much billions would be approved for the ministry and then possibly how much of these billions will be frittered away into private coffers. It should also be noted that the rail track which the minister has superintended over, which is building, are just the normal uh, rail tracks which even the Nigerian military can build. So, we still want to call on the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission and the Independent Corrupt Practices and Other Related Offenses Commission to swing into action, to probe all the amounts that have been given to the Ministry of Transport for all these uh, railway contracts to Chinese firms, to be sure that everything is duly accounted for. And then, why should we be having uh, single rail systems, no multiple. That means one train has to wait for another. Very chaotic system, and yet a system where the Minister of Transport claimed billions of dollars for. The Youth Council therefore passed a vote of confidence on the President Muhammadu Buhari for his efforts to make Nigeria a better place. <laughs>